welcome back on another adventure with the underdog angler. I'm here with my buddy Logan at another day ticket spot on the Trent called Callum Bridge near Newark. We're here because we've set ourselves a nice 24 hour challenge. We're going to see exactly how many uh, barbell we can get out in 24 hours. Time starts from the moment the second rod's in the water. So let's get over to our swim and make a start. Come on mate. Right, it's just started to rain, so let's quickly get these into the water and we'll go through the reef in the cover of the bivvy in just a second. You see I've got a decent tail and to a little PVA bag full of pellets of my choice with uh, my preferred boilie on there as well. So I'm trying to hit a spot over on the far bank, just in front of that yellow uh, tree there. And keep the rod up. Now we're on three and a half ounce of lead to hold bottom here. That's about done us. Now my dog wants to go and fetch the uh, lead. So that's one in. And one further down in that little gap there. No Logan. Lovely. Just where we wanted it. And we are barbel fishing. Time is quarter past two. 24 hours from now, let's see what we've got. I'll keep you updated, ladies and gentlemen. So, I've been here just over an hour. That's my first one. Six pounder. Let's get him in the water. So we're off the mark, six pound, let's crack on.
lovely. Oh, solid. 10 pound fish there. That puts us on 16 pound. Let's get this one back in the water, eh? Hey? Some air going through them gills and it's away. That one pulled harder than I was expecting. Got the tips twisted together for a second or two there. But, you know, we sorted it out and everything ended up okay. So moving on to the rear rig then. This is what I'm prepared to throw into the trend. Quite snaggy out there. I'm trying to hold bottom. And I've got three and a half ounce of lead to do that. Fastened to a quick release clip, so if we do get snagged off, that leg can come off. Hook length, 14 to 16 inch long. Got to have that for the barbel down to a hair at the bottom that I'll put my boilie on. Now let's do that. Get your boilie a choice. I'm sure you all know how to do this. Onto the loop. put the hair in the uh, end of that and that's pretty much ready to go. Fish that over some free offerings over the far side and I'll catapult the free offerings a little bit upstream so they get a chance to sink as the flow brings them past. So far so good. We've put a hair stop on that and we're ready to go. Little environmental recording for you. It's not the most peaceful of all places. Just behind those trees is the main Mansfield Newark Road. Didn't even get quiet. Three, four o'clock in the morning. There's trucks and stuff going past. It's nice and interesting to see whether the uh, radio mic picks it up or not. Whether it sounds a little bit better, but I won't know that until I get home. Fish number three, 14 pound. Okay, getting bigger. Well, fish four was a little eight pounder. Caught me taking all the footage off the cameras and charging the batteries so we didn't have anything running at the time. Managed to get a little bit of it on my phone and I'll splice that into the video uh, when I get back home so you can see that one. Just missed number five. I'm having to rebate this. Third rod replaced this one obviously, so still got two in the water. And this one's now ready to go back out when we catch something else on one of the other two. We're fishing out there. We've got there's one line. And there's the other line going in. That's the area that we're fishing in at the moment. It's been 
sporadically beating it with some orange boilies. They love it. See what tonight brings. Keep one of it in the cradle. Fish number five on the bank, ten pound. Important not to let them go until they're ready to go. You don't want them to belly up out there and then die on you. Fish number seven, another fourteen pounder.
Okay. Fish number eight. Nine and a half pound. You can see this one weighed in at 16 pound. Beautiful fish, right hand rod, about half past nine. Let's get the waders on and get back in water. So this is our swim at the moment. There's a right toe of water coming down there. Might not look it on camera, but there is. <coughs> Just fishing the one rod at the moment. I can't keep two in the water. It's just coming through that fast. Morning Bivy brothers and swim sisters. It's a blistering morning today. Took the rods out for a few hours last night because I was exhausted and I needed some sleep. We're on uh, 95 and a half pounds at the moment. We've still got quite a bit of the day left to go, so all be well we should get over that 100 pound mark. Yeah, quite a nice achievement. I'll start to say good morning to you all before I get some breakfast down me. Give you an update of uh, where we are with the wheat. So like I say, 95 pound. Plenty to play for today. See you in a bit. Well, a bit of chaos there, a big chunk of weed going through both the rods, setting both of them off. But we've had to up the weight, four ounce on the end there now, gone up half an ounce. The quick clip here, just so we can get our hook length through various different types of bait and stuff. I've just got a little PVA net on there, a bit of stocking full of pellets of my choice, just to go out and introduce them. Hopefully that'll get to the bottom and the long tail or waft around, dispersing these everywhere. So, Get this in the water, see if it, uh, if it works. Back in a bit. Today's delicious snack. Been that. Part of my all inclusive diet seems to just include rubbish at the moment. Can sit for a bit. Well, we've not had a single fish since putting the rods back in this morning. I'm on 95 and a half pound. There's about 2 hours, 15 minutes left of this, 24 hours. See what happens. Sun's dropped behind the big tree left next to me and it's uh, dropped a little bit chilly. Might have to put my, uh, my top back on. See if that makes any difference to the fishing. 
not me putting my top back on, obviously, that's not going to. What's been killing me is this extra flow on the water. I can't hold bottom out on the other side because of the uh, increased flow. Just bouncing everything around down to the next swim. I like to bring the distance in a little bit. Struggling a little to there to hold the bottom, but just managing it. And I just keep picking plastic bag up after plastic bag. And they don't count, unfortunately. I've got to come up with some sort of way of filming in the evening. I can't afford one of them expensive night vision cameras. Let's see how good the footage is when I get it back onto the computer, but I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty shoddy. And there you go. Other than big generator with uh, spotlights that kick in when I need it. I'm going to be struggling. But we'll see what happens as we go a little bit later. To be honest, I'm not really expecting to catch a great deal during the day. If I was going to do £100, I probably would have done it by now. Well, that's the end of the 24 hours. Not another bite, not since this morning. So we've ended up with 90-something pounds. I'll do the math when we get back. Catch you later, guys and girls. <laughs>